not only is it the last week for a chance to win this GT350, but we're running sales all week. Let's find out what today's sale is. We've got 20% off all hoodies on our website, plus five times multiplier on our Mustang giveaway. We've got our brand new crop top hoodies. We've got our turbo drip America hoodies, nitrous drip hoodies, every hoodie on our website right now, 1320beta.com. Use coupon code hoodie20, go shop it now. What is up, 1320 fans? We're out here at Brown County Dragway for War in the Woods. Now, we've been here a few times before, but Kyle, myself, Matt, Witty, everybody agreed that the event slash the track kind of needs its own video because being here is kind of an experience in itself, and you really don't see that in the videos and the features that we film. So we got to show you just specifically what War in the Woods is and what it's like to be here at Brown County Dragway. To say it's an outlaw track would be putting it lightly, it's probably the most outlaw track that we go to all year. You come to the gate of Brown County Dragway, you're agreed at the front shack here, and then we have the top pits. We got spectator parking over here, and then pit area all the way over here, along mixed with spectator parking and all that. We got race cars here, here, back there, all the way around the back, all the way around the front. All right, so here we got the top of the hill. There's the top pits over there. You walk over here, here's the top of the hill. And this is the track right here, guys. It's not much. That is the starting line right there. And it goes down to there. And I'm gonna take you all the way down there to show you how much shutdown there isn't here. Okay, so I keep saying Brown County Dragway is different from every other track. We're gonna give you, based off a, now this is not NHRA track, but we're gonna give you based off what an NHRA track should be, we're gonna measure the track and show you exactly how short it is. Now, eighth mile is 660 feet. Normally, you want twice as much shutdown as you do actual racing service. So you would really want like a quarter mile of shutdown for an eighth mile track. We've heard it's like 1,100 feet, 1,180 feet, which 660 times two is 1,320. 1,180 isn't even a quarter mile total. I'm gonna take the golf cart, you take that down the track, I'll meet you at the big end. Yeah. One thing that's unique to this track, to any other track that we filmed that, is there's grass between the lanes. This is like the first track I've ever been to, where grass in between the lanes all the way down, and each lane is not very wide. All right, at the end of the track, what are we looking at? We're at 0 .32 miles. I need feet. Feet? Not gonna happen. <laughs> all right, we did all the measurements, we double checked it on Google, this track is longer than we have been told before. We've been told it's like 1180 feet. I don't know where 1180 is. Maybe that's where the wall is. I don't even think that's right because where we're at right now, we are basically 0.33, which is a third of a mile, about 1700 and change. And then once you get to here, it goes back to kind of two lanes or whatever this used to be. Maybe a couple hundred more feet. And then you hit big tires and then a, I, I guess it's a wooden fence might stop you. I don't know. I said on the way down here at the big end that NHRA minimum for the track is 60 feet. We're gonna have Witty. What size shoe you got? About a foot, well, I bet it's about a foot long. It's about 11. Okay, it's, well, we're gonna say it's a foot long. From the edge of the grass to that edge of the grass, count it out. Okay, one, two, three, 31. 31? Yeah, is that good or bad? NHRA minimum is 60 feet. So that's a this is th this this track at the end where they actually pave the grass between the lanes is as wide as one NHRA lane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Think about that. Yeah, there's not much room for air. No, right there is not. And then outside of the 31 feet that Witty just counted off, we have about three feet of grass before you hit the Jersey dividers. Yep. Kind of sketchy. A couple years ago, we were here, night race, war in the woods, a white S10. Uh, was getting squirrely. I think it was right at the eighth mile. His tires went into the center. He got really out of shape because his tires were in the grass. He spun and all of a sudden I see headlights spinning like this and I see him just stop. Dead stop. Just dead stop. And they went up the, I think Matt was on the big end, ran up, checked on the guy. He was not doing so great, but he was alive. Yeah. He wasn't, I think bumps and bruises. Because of the cage. Yeah, because of the cage. But he hit a tree. If he would have hit the tree one foot further back, he'd been gone. And that was the end of that race, but after that, we didn't come back till this spring, and this spring is when they put all the walls in and the new pavement between. All right, we're coming to eighth mile cone right here. We have maybe 100 feet, 75 feet maybe. Of some new, some new pavement right here. And then we have grass. Here at Brown County Dragway, just at any high quality establishment, they have a VIP section. All right, Witty, show us VIP. All right. So we got the track over here, 
VIP only. Yeah. Let's go. This is nice. It's it's one of those like indoor outdoor architecture kind of vibes. <laughs> They've cleared out this entire section here. Obviously, you can tell it's very clean, very presentable. That's where you can sit, set up your lawn chairs, and uh, you get VIP views of the entire start line. Right, I'm going to the top of VIP section right now to get this view. Oh, this is actually phenomenal. That's what I'm saying. VIP section, this is the view. Right there. That is, you can't, that's the best seat in the house right there. It is almost time. They are doing the driver's meeting right now. There's already a few people on the starting line getting ready to go. I'm not sure what the running order is going to be, but this is what we're looking at. Imagine you're a car, you're in the staging lanes, which is just like that area of the pits. And you drive up to here and your car is barely, barely wide enough to go down the track. You do your burnout, you line up, it's dark, there's three lights on the whole track, and you're about to let go of the button. This is an intense place to be. Normally when you go to races and there's a hard tire class, they're usually the slowest cars on the property, but these actually look pretty stout. Like there's one with bullhorns out of it, there's a few turbo cars. They just have a different tire. I'm excited to see how fast these cars actually go. All right, it's time for first pair, first round. Let's go. He's got to have a sneaky Pete system on that thing or something. It's, it moves. 
for, that shouldn't go that fast, but it does. I love that little car. That's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Come on. All right, guys, unfortunately, they just called the race. Uh, some officials just came down to the stage and said, take your cars back to the back to your pit spots before you can no longer get them to your pit spot. Basically, he said it's going to rain rain. It's only sprinkling right now. They said it's going to get really bad. And uh, well, these guys are, most of these, I would say almost all of these guys are parked in the grass because that's what kind of track this is. So it's going to rain. Hopefully, they get it dried out. Racing tomorrow night. So I guess we'll finish the other 90% of this race tomorrow. So yeah, see you tomorrow. guys welcome back it is the next day they decided to call it last night right about 11 30 at night something like that went back to the hotel got some sleep they had drivers meeting at three and they should be starting here any second for first round first pair of big tire they actually they actually kind of ringed out at the perfect time because it was right at the end of hard tire going into big tire so we got the first two big tire cars right here we got the next eight i believe big tire cars i believe there's 10 big tire cars total the back here in the lane's ready to go so got some open ceremonies i think national anthem Let's get this thing going view from the big end of how small the track is and how crazy it is to have that grass between the lanes like these lanes are not wide at all and they're coming down and it just looks like they're driving through a nice valley but they're trying to go as fast as they can with hundreds or thousands of people lining the whole track behind a fence but they're still lining the track pretty crazy Flame, one of them or both of them touched the grass. You still got to stay in it. Somebody's got to win. Bam. It's kind of sketchy. Like a fun sketchy. Nobody's wrecked yet today. So fun sketchy right now.
So this big tire Chevelle just went down. He was last pair for big tire. And he's also in small tire, so they just did a quick tire change at the front of the stadium lanes. And I'm gonna flip him around and he's second pair. So he's last pair in big tire, and he was second pair in small tire. We're moving on. Exactly when the light was going. He's been to some races. <laughs> like exactly when the light went, I just hear. Hoo! I was like, "Why did that just happen?" There's Todd. I was talking to a few of the small tire guys, and everybody just kept talking about, "Oh, Todd Spears is here. Todd Spears. Todd Spears is on the property." I think about Todd Spears. That's Todd Spears right there. He just won first pair, first round small tire, and he's apparently one that you definitely need to watch out for. Uh, it's a Fox body, but apparently it's Ford powered still. I don't know the exact combination of the hood. I'm gonna talk to him after this round. But yeah, that's Todd, and apparently everybody knows who Todd is. And they're scared of him. Well, they at least respect him. That's the guy. That's the guy that was just on big tires two pairs ago. He just went on small tires right there. Apparently, they didn't get the hood on very well. Hood just came off, but he won. So he won first round big tire, and he was the last pair. And second, so, yeah. And then second pair small tire, he just won. And he left the hood here for us. So he's probably gonna want it back. I don't know. It looks pretty good without a hood on it. She was pinned. I don't know why the hood blew up. The, I, I filmed it. The front passenger corner just went up like that for like 100 yeah, feet, and it, then the whole thing right just went. Through. Yeah. But that was a pretty good pass. Yeah. <laughs>
mean, I know it's kind of like, I don't want you to take a good shot. Well, we have our first wreck, like official wreck of a uh, War in the Woods 22. Probably won't be the last one, to be honest with you, it kind of sucks. We just met these guys yesterday. We stopped at their pits, talked about the car. I think they're from Michigan. They just came to have a good time, and now they take home a broken car, which sucks. But uh, he got into the grass, stayed in it, turned around a little bit, hit the jersey barrier. I, I really hate to say it, but that will not be their last track today. I don't think. It just, it's that, you guys give a track, you gotta be on your shit 100%. If one thing goes wrong, that thing can happen, so. The old Dodge ready to go? Oh yeah, hopefully. You got this Mustang first round? Yep. Do you know what he does or anything? You seen that thing? No, I've never seen the car before. You got the wick turned up on it or he's kind of mild tune right now? It's a middle tune. Okay, middle of the road. <laughs> it's not slow, but it ain't, it ain't all out. A fast A to B here could hopefully. be pretty sketchy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, good luck to you, buddy. Thank you. Hell yeah. tire C5 coming in. I didn't even see him in the lanes back there, but we'll see what he could do. It's kind of a weird setup. We don't normally see drag C5s out here, especially with straight axles on the back and all that stuff. I've never seen the car perform before, but it's pretty cool, pretty unique, and he's here doing small tire no prep stuff at one of the most outlaw tracks we've been to, so we'll see what he does first round. Squirrely, but the Mustang stayed in it longer. What are you working on? Other people's cars? Huh? You working on other people's cars? Yeah. <laughs> I had to come talk to you because you seem to be the guy on the property that everybody's like, well, I don't know, Todd's on the property. Yeah, Todd's over there. Todd's, Todd brought his Mustang. You're the guy everybody knows and everybody's kind of scared of. I don't know why, man. You don't know? Everybody else knows why. Apparently, you make A to B passes and you're fast as hell. Oh, crap. Man, we're trying. Everybody else, hope for some luck. What's the setup on the Mustang? What we got here? It's got an MMR uh, 351 kind of motor. Really? Okay. It's twin, twin turbo 76s. I got 76s on it now. I have a set of 88s that I put on there. When we try to go real fast. Gotcha. What's the rest of the driveline transmission we're in? Uh, it's got an MMR uh, two speed 400 in it. I mean, uh, MM two speed 400. Gotcha. Nothing special, it's just a full length car. It's real familiar with it, you know. Got a ton of passes in it. Have you raced her before? No, never. Really? Never. Okay. Everybody was talking like you were on the property, like you were a god here or something. I guess you're just fast everywhere else. I don't know, man. Maybe it's because of my good looks. You know? That's what it is. That's definitely what it is. Well, buddy, congrats on your win first round. 
one. Uh, we'll, we'll see you in a second round. All right? Zero, see you, This is my favorite car in hard tire by far. What's your game plan for this round? <laughs> Try not to lose. How much are you going to spray this time? All of it. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Who you got this round? Uh, that Nova over there. He, he beat me in the finals of this race last fall. Yeah, but you beat a Nova last last round, though. Uh, yeah. Easily. I got lucky. You I gapped was, it. It wasn't okay. easy. That track was slick. All right. Good luck. Don't worry about that Nova. Just like you said, just drive your race. I'll run my go race. as fast as this little guy can go, right? I'll do it. All right, buddy. We'll see you. Then we hit full vibe here. Generator lights. You can see all of the like nitrous and like there's beds flying all through the air. There's people all trying to see the race. It's cool though. I like it. Cool. Hell yeah, man. We're breaking down. We didn't know any of this until just now. So you're the driver of the green truck. Yeah. So the other, I, it was a clear. It was clearly you lost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was a show run. And then you just found out that you I was getting ready for second chance and a kid came over and congratulated me to win and I had the dumbest look on my face and I was like no I lost. He goes no Limpy called the other guy a jump. So I went and talked to Limpy and Limpy said no yeah the other guy jumped. Really? So I had to go up. I went up to the stage and they cleared it and she talked to Limpy and cleared everything up. So Hell yeah. All right. It. Second round. There we go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Me. All right, Brandon. So you've driven this thing, what, like 200 yards maybe? Zero. What? I thought you drove it well, down. I drove it around the pits. I just haven't driven it in a pass. Yeah, like two, two, 200 yards maybe? Fair. Putting around? Fair. How do you think this is going to go? I think I'm being conservative, and I think I got enough on the button to wake it up. Gotcha. Now this is this is our this is slow pony. This yeah, our fan, our fans will know this if they watch this your cots video. This is old cots car. Yeah, Chris Henderson. Yeah, I, I think I've watched this win cots at least once. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, not so, not a bad rental for the for the weekend. No, it's a bad little ride. We just got to see how he likes the bumpies. Right. Good luck, man. All right, buddy.
there was a pothole in the track. And they came out here with torches and like yeah, pothole patch and fix it up. So I'm gonna take you over here real quick. Yeah, that's that's a pothole. That's a patched pothole. Got that, and I, I, that's awesome. That's freaking awesome. You're gonna be disappointed. Be disappointed. Truck wins. I Heck yeah. Jeff, take the mic. I'm not gonna lie. Woo. I didn't know if you had that or not. I like that. I didn't know if I had that or not either. <laughs> <laughs> you came by me at the finish line. I think you had him by a full truck. Yeah, no, it felt good. Yeah? Like, so before this round, you thought you were going to have to be in the second chance deal. Yes. And then you just won second round. Just one second round. Yeah. Hell there yeah. you go, baby. Yeah. Now we got to get it ready for third round. There, there, you, that's what you do at the round? second round. Yeah. There you exactly. go. Let's keep, let's keep that trend. Oh, let's keep I want it going. It. All right? Give me, four, give me like four rounds, okay? Yeah. Listen, if I just be in the finals. Oh. That'd be cool. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, buddy. We'll see you next round. Yep. No problem. I think when you made a pass, it was daylight out still. Huh? I think when you made your first round pass, it was still daylight. I don't know. I couldn't see. <laughs> it was terrible, man. The fog was everywhere. My, my wife come up and opened the door. She said, can you see? And I said, no. About that time, Lippy was saying, you're going in second. So I said, shut the door. Here we go. This is all the condensation, everything getting on the window. You yeah, just can't man. see anything. And, and I, had a, I had a blanket on it and stuff. But uh, I got a little heater in there now, trying to heat up the inside because once I got in there, the hot air. Wait, well, you're saying this thing doesn't have defrost still? Well, it don't work, man. <laughs> I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> it don't work. Was your first round pass is pretty good? Pretty no, it was terrible. But well, for you, adjustment. terrible, but. No, well, we made it down. We got the win, but I was not happy with it. It's not what we planned for, man. I'm telling you. We, we planned for it being raggedy and sketchy and had the car set up for it, I thought. And the starting line is like really, really good. Everybody says that the starting line comes around pretty good, and the rest yeah. of the track you just got to deal with the yes. starting line. So, and that's where I'm at. So I'm trying to get everything swapped around, trying to get it back to where I can really get after it and put some power in it early. Mm -hmm. The last pass, it just didn't work. It kind of bounced and hops, and it was just unhappy. Gotcha. 
So I made some adjustments. Have they drew for second round for you guys yet? Do you know you're racing? Yeah, no? I'm fourth paired down. I have no idea. Who is. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. You. We'll see you next round, buddy. Hi, buddy. Good luck to you. I was just up talking to Todd about his first round pass, and apparently a Mustang went past the finish line, past the end of the track, past those tires that we showed you at the beginning of the video, past the fence, through the fence behind the tires, and he's in the woods and the car is currently on fire. Woody's on the big end, he just happened to be up there, and uh, he's getting some footage of it. We'll show you guys that right here, but yeah, that is, I've never seen a car go through the back of the track like that. All right, so guys, we're at the top of the track right here. The track is way back there. We're at the top of the track. This is where the grass stops, or the grass starts. Okay, so here's the tires that are laid out, and he went straight through. He's okay. Here's the fence. He's good? He's okay? He's okay. This is the fence that was here. Holy sh**. Oh my god, that's a big ass tire. So right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, we got one, two, three tires, and this tire that was right there is now here, which is on the opposite side of the fence. So I think he hit the tire, the tire probably hit the fence, took that out, and then he took out the fence over here. Brake pedal broke? Brake pedal broke. Oh my God. I, well, I'm walking down here, I'm like, he, the enough. throttle had to be hung wide open. That's what I'm how saying. Do get, how do you get... I mean, right now, it's 920 feet from the finish line to the end of the asphalt. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. This is they rolled it out yesterday, though. right? So that is another, I mean, he's, he's 23, 2400 feet from the finish line. Here. Yeah. Well, the driver is fine walking up. That's one of the first things they said. The driver's out and he's fine. Uh, they said the brake pedal broke. There had to have been some throttle going on there too. A little bit of throttle or something or high idle. Like from the finish line to the very end of the track, that was a track motor. He said it's about 920 feet. We measured it about that, 1,000 feet, 900 feet, something like that. And then he's, this is 500 feet past that and he hit a 1,000 pound tire and went through a freaking fence. And he's way back there still. My variety's okay. All right, so far it is 1.22 in the morning. We just got the car off of the back of the track, way out there where he was. So we've gone through first and second round for big tire, small tire, and hard tire. And we have finished the first round of small tire second chance. And we're finishing up the second, or we're finishing up the first round of hard tire second chance. I think I said it all that right. Okay, anyway. Chuck thinks it's left lane. Oh, it was left lane. Well, dang it. Spears is up for his, I think, third round? I believe it's third round. 
small tire. He's going up against a green force gen, and I know it's pretty quick because it beat some cars earlier that I didn't think it would. So he's pretty quick, and then that's who Todd's got this round. So we'll see what he does. I'm thinking he's going to make a pretty good pass. He's a pretty smart guy, and his car is pretty freaking fast. He has so many passes in that car. too soon, way too soon on that one. Todd did not have it in the bag on that one. All right, you think you got something for this Fox body right here? Hopefully, we put it, we turn it up a little bit. So. We got a little spicy in it? We got a little spicy in okay, it. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right, good luck to you. Yep. Cali Nate is here. We've seen him Cali Nate in Yellow Belly. We've seen him in Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. And uh, he's here and he's doing some amazing passes. He's here with Rank actually. I think he's actually tuning Rank's car too. Well, right now we're down to I think nine cars out of like 67. And uh, they're all bad motherfuckers now. So this should be a pretty good race. He's gonna have to right leg in the air. Alright, first gen. First gen Camaro is gonna we'll take, take home to big time. Big time. Big time. Basically, all the racing is done except for the semifinals and finals. Basically, there's three cars in small tire left on the property that are still in. And we would just leave, but our buddy Callie Nate's in still. And you get $25,000 if you win. So we kind of want to stick around and uh, see who's going to take home all this freaking money. 4.38 in the morning. I think we'll probably get the finals off by 5.30, maybe. We'll see. And then we're going to go to breakfast. All right. Semi-finals. Small tire. We got Kelly in the left lane. Logan Duvall in the right lane. Should be a pretty decent race. Basically, whoever wins this is probably going to win the final.
for the win. Oh, his parachute's out. Your parachute's out! Holy shit, dude. One. Yeah, it was. Right? Uh, and the chute, it didn't deploy again. Yeah, it did. No. Not until I turned. Oh. It didn't pop all the way out. Gotcha. When you rolled by, I was like, your chute's out. I yeah. thought you were going to snag it on something. No, I didn't know it was out. Oh. Oh, okay. They told me down there that the chute didn't come out. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. All right, who you got in the final? Uh, Sherman? Sherman. Nitrous car, right? The green uh, F-body. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And it's, what, 25 to win? 27, I believe. 27? 27. We are definitely buying an air launcher if we win. Yeah? Yes. Fuck this stupid old piece of shit. <laughs> Bot killed me every pass. Here comes the second chance finals for small tires. the winner of the second chance buyback small tire race. Heck yeah. Now we got one more final to go. It is officially 5.30 in the morning. So, Pally Nate versus the fourth gen Green Camaro coming at you right now. Flexing on everybody, showing up and doing that. When I was in California on the weekend, and we won a shootout out there. <laughs> Congrats, man. 25 grand. Hey, he's paying for breakfast, guys. Yeah, he's paying absolutely. for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's paying for breakfast and, and a shit ton of Red Bull. I think we get it. Uh, there's like <laughs> prizes and shit we win, too. All right, that is going to go ahead and do it for us here at Brown County Dragway at War in the Woods. Shout out to Callie Nate. He just won like $25,000. Shout out to everybody that works the event, everyone puts it on, the owners of the track, doing all the improvements and everything. This is a fun track to come to, and we're definitely, definitely gonna come back. I hope we were able to show you guys a little bit of what it's like to be here at the track. It's pretty wild, to be honest with you. You guys should put it on your bucket list if you wanna go to like kind of an outlaw's track. This is it, Brown County Dragway in Indiana. Well, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.